Hi everyone, it's Linnea here for iCrafter and I'm going to show you today how to assemble the apron box card die set. This die set has 11 pieces and that consists of the large die that you're going to need to cut the apron itself. There's two pieces that you'll use to embellish or decorate your apron box card. There's also a little arm so that you can have those utensils or the little hearts peeking up from inside of your box card. I'm gonna start with this main piece, the large piece, and you will need to cut two of those of whatever color you want your base apron to be. I'm going with white so that I can choose some bolder patterns to decorate my apron. There are just two score lines on each of the apron pieces, and I am using my eye press burnisher to reinforce those score lines. I'm going to start with that large one that folds the piece almost in half and then there's a smaller tab that that's where you're going to add your adhesive to adhere the two pieces together. So just folding those over on those score lines and then reinforcing. You can see here how this is going to fold together to create a traditional box card but with a cute little apron shape. So I'm going to add some double sided adhesive on that little flap and just adhere the two pieces together so you have one long piece. Then I find it easiest to add that little arm on the inside before you adhere your box card fully together. So I'm going to fold those two flaps on either side of the arm and you can see here how you position this inside of the apron box card. You can position this more towards the front, towards the back, or in the middle. I kind of chose a spot more towards the front of my apron and I just aligned the two score lines. That way I knew that this would be straight. So I added adhesive onto one of those flaps and then I reached that arm all the way across to the other side and added some more adhesive, removed that backing, and I like to just fold the apron over onto itself. That way I can be sure that things are going to align perfectly. Then I'll add some adhesive onto that remaining flap to form my apron box card, fold it over on itself, and I have this all assembled. I use some pattern paper that looks like a galaxy to create some pattern for my apron. I cut two of the large front pieces, and I'll adhere this onto the front, and then the second I will adhere actually inside the box to give some pattern to the back of the apron. I also cut two of these rectangle pieces to decorate the sides of my apron. So I have a white base with all of that gorgeous color all around. I cut the word love out of white cardstock. I thought that really popped against my pattern paper. And then I also cut a bunch of hearts to embellish my apron box card. So I'm just gonna start gluing things together here. The front is a pretty standard assembly. I'm just gluing my hearts down and then I will glue the letters to form the word love on top so that they kind of overlay on top of those hearts. I also cut each of the utensils, the spoon, the rolling pin, the spatula, and the whisk from white cardstock. And I'm going to adhere these to that inner arm or that inner shelf or ledge, whatever you kind of want to call it. That's just going to give me some dimension inside of my box card and it's going to give different layers of effects here. So I adhered two utensils together and then I'm going to adhere them poking out of the side of the apron onto that little arm that's inside of my apron box card. And now you can see I have the front of the apron then on another layer, I have those utensils. And then in the back, I also have decorated the back of the apron. So there's lots of dimension. And remember that this card will fold flat to fit in a traditional envelope. And when your recipient gets it, you can pop it open like this. And it's just so cute. I took the remainder of those hearts and I'm going to embellish my utensils. I kept them white so that they would really pop against that pattern paper. And I love how those little hearts just add extra embellishment. I added some twine to both the front and the back of the apron to finish off this card. And this project is complete. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. 
Thanks so much for watching. Remember that for more inspiration, you can always visit the iCrafter website as well as the iCrafter YouTube channel for more inspiration and tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Bye.